Bus we went to Louisiana. We came, we got on the bus. We just got on the bus and came here. And the only reason we the only reason we wind up over this way, we missed the last bus going back up north. And so, and it was a good thing though. We met some, uh, some nice people over this way that that we really didn't we really have. Henry, how long have you been homeless, man? Uh, since here, uh, off, uh, well, throughout my life. Uh, yeah. Um, well, about, about what six, seven, six years maybe out of my life. And three here yeah. in Austin. Yeah. Uh, three here in Austin. Three in Austin. Three in Austin, and just like. It, 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 I mean, we were so, I was so excited about having my place in, June, in February this year, but it didn't happen. But I did tell him this, though. I said, if you find a family, if you don't let a family get evicted, not have kids. Don't have kids, don't have anybody to go because I'd rather you put them around on me and everything. I do believe that. It's like I told him about her. If, if you find a place, get her in first. I'll, get her in a place first. You know, because I can survive a little while longer, you know what I mean? Yeah. How long have you guys known each other? Oh, too long. It's been a while. We've been together for almost eight, though. <clears throat> well, congratulations. Yeah. I've probably known each other like three more years than that. Yeah, about 11 years, yeah. And, um, and so I, it's just, it's just, we, I, mean, I always told her if we ever broke up, I, I can't, be, I would never ever leave her by herself. She has no family here. And I wouldn't, I, would, I can't do that. It's a good man. I, I can't do that. Even though I get mad, I'll, she get mad at me too, you know, and and, and, and I just, I put, now I know what to do. What we do is we, I just take a walk. But you got your caseworker coming back out here to help y'all. Yeah, he, he, he and um, he was looking for her, but he couldn't find her. He, and he's like, he's not, basically, truly, me, me, myself, truly, I don't really think he's trying to help her now. Yeah. Because he was like, well, I don't have any good news and all like this. Because you know, I get enough money. If I have to pay, if they won't let us, if she, she can't get in a place with me right now because they don't have a couple's thing, I'll pay her 600 or whatever pay for her to get somewhere else. I, won't, I can't leave her out here right. by herself. I won't do that. Good man. I won't do that. And I told my mom that yesterday when I talked to her on the phone. You know, I thought, I just can't leave her out here. I, I, I'm not going to leave her out here by herself. No, because she really don't know too many people here, but me and the people around here, and that's it. Well, let me ask you, do, do you have to deal with violence out here too? Not much? on this side, we don't. Not on, yeah. Not on this side, we don't. The other side, we used to stay on the other side on the bridge over when yeah. we first moved here, and at first it wasn't, it wasn't like that, but then it just got bad element. Yeah, all, just, all of a sudden it got, it got bad. Like yeah. one of my best friends got murdered over there. You're serious? Yeah, yeah. The, the one that got chopped in here with the machete. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, him. I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, he, he, he's a good friend of mine. And he came the, the day he got back from Atlanta. He came here and saw me first. And that's, he came and saw me, and that's the last time I talked to him until somebody come here and told us that um, somebody here got um, they had they had got him. But they arrested the guy that got him. Good. They charged him with capital murder. So, but y'all do have a have a big problem with stealing here. Folks yeah. stealing from you. coming through here. And it's like yeah. And, and you were telling us that they they even steal when you're asleep. Yeah, they come like last night. I know like last night. I know I know I know for a fact now. I know a difference between an animal step and a human. A human. Yeah. Step. I know I know the difference. I know the difference between that. And I know when I when when, when somebody's brown. Because I remember the dog, uh, she had a dog over here yesterday. Somebody was lurking back there yesterday while I was here. The dog kept on barking. I have a question. I have a question. It's not people from outside of the community. Yeah, not not the community. It's just people, it's other, it's other, other, other individuals that, that, that's, that's homeless too. And I look at it like this. If, if I find a bunch, bunch of clothes I know I can't wear, I'm still going to get them because other people can wear I'm not going to let them you know, take them and throw them away. And they'd be good clothes. And they don't have to go through like this stuff is hanging up right there. They just go through. They just go through and just throw stuff everywhere. So this week we're gonna uh, we're gonna clean up every camp around. And we're gonna we're gonna go in. Everybody's gonna take all this stuff out, and we're gonna you want a U-Haul truck, and we're gonna get it out. That's what I was telling them that it's that one place. You know, everything's cleaned up. Y'all keep this yeah, area real yeah, cleaned yeah, up. We're, we're, we're trying to get it where you know, city came through and said some 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 people about because they had, they had to move, but they did that before. But that was like. Uh, during the midsummer, oh no, last summer they told me to move, and they were like, they were like, they'd be back, and they never came back. And they pretty much leave y'all alone yeah. now. And we're just basically just trying to keep it where, if, if, show them that hey, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not the people that. 
It's a guy that works at PS that picks up the shopping cart. All the stuff that you see on that trail going out right there, yeah. this guy dumped it out just to get their get their carts. And she got his uh she got his uh the license plate number and everything. That's crazy. Yeah. And then last time before they did that before, I the, the law prevention guy went on hold up, bro. Then I had a big old tarp and I just dumped it on there and then we took it out. You know, that's all he had to do then, but he just went through and just dumped all that stuff out on the ground. Did you say it was a loss prevention, folks? No, it, no, it was a guy that picks up, they pay a guy, I guess, to pick up the chopper yeah. cart. Yeah. It was him. She got his picture and everything. Hey, the picture of the guy that was dumping all the stuff on the trail. The one just dumped work. it out. Yeah, yeah, he, he has that stuff, you know, because his and and his, um, license plate number, number, because he didn't have to they do They don't that. do anything about him? We had, I haven't even really well, said nothing to him about it. Told Fiesta because he came down here and it was a Fiesta cart yeah. that he dumped yeah. and told them. They said, said they'll say something about it and do something about they it, don't. but they didn't because he's been back down here doing the same thing yeah, again. Yeah, like the first time, the first time he, he tried to do that, I stopped him. I called him in time enough to get a big old tarp and, and put it down and let them um, and let them dump it on there. You know, so like y'all keep the area clean. He comes in, he messes we, we, it up, had, but then the homeless get blamed I'm for it. I'm telling you, right? Chuck, Mr. Chuck fixed that whole spot up there. Like the old yeah. spot, but he did it by himself. His his uh, camp's gone. Yeah. His camp's gone. Yeah. Chuck, uh, oh, the Chuck, guy that. Chuck said he's right. Oh, was he? Okay. He was cleaning okay. Okay. up every spot. Yeah, he was, he was the, he was the guy that yeah. I was talking to that was cleaning yeah, he everything. Was cleaning everything, and yeah, and they did, and nobody had the to do it. We just, we did it because we want to, we want to be able to stay here without, um, without, you know, anybody messing with yeah, you. Anybody messing with you, man? And that's what, that's what we're trying to do, man. And, yeah, y'all don't have the y'all have the cops come mess with y'all no, at all. No, cops don't come down here and mess with us all. The cops, he, the cops park up there and have any lunch breaks and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they don't bother us. They don't bother us. Man. Yeah, I was about to show them y'all what y'all got rigged back there. Your your trolley and your yeah. stairs. That's pretty genius, man. Yeah. yeah. No, you remember the, the, the yeah, yeah you remember the reporter that was here with me? Yeah, yeah, I remember. He loved yeah, it. Yeah, he loved it. Well, oh, but actually, yeah. the steps are better now because it rained. It rained. Everything. It, uh, you can walk up on them. I got to go. Uh, my bike's up here. I got to go up to the store to get some gas for the generator right now. Cool. cool. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for letting me uh, get a little oh, interview yeah, with man. you, Henry. Yeah. Thank All you, man. You good people. All right, man. All right. I asked him about you last time. We were at work, but we didn't see you.